What does husband material look like for you? Um, I'm going to write it down. A job. A job. Would be good. Because this is how you manifest things. I don't know if you've read Ladies Home Journal this month. No. This is how you manifest. You write it down. So I'm mm-hmm. going to do it for you, Chloe. Job. I've got it. Job. Um, do you care to specify high, a blue collar or a white collar? White collar. White collar. I want them to I'm just it pay for everything and then I'll quit comedy. Okay. Job. And what's next, Chloe? Um, I would like them to be into skiing. Skiing. I love to ski. How about a ski instructor? That that knocks both of our uh, things off the list. It's a job and it's also the other thing. But they don't make any money and they're right. usually drug addicts. Good good call, yeah. Chloe. So, um, so skiing, but no drugs. I'll put that as a side note. It would be so I don't drink and I have a lot of trouble with it. So right. it would be nice to um, find a guy who can just like smoke crack like a gentleman. Right. Smoking. Do you do uh, any <laughs> any drugs? Um, the smoking crack thing tipped us off, but I wanted to be sure. It's a thorough investigation. Well, I dated a guy I met in rehab who was a crackhead, mm-hmm. and um, he relapsed. And while I was away, he was at my apartment, and he wallpapered the whole thing. He wallpapered your apartment? Yeah, because I think he was like on crack, so he was just really thorough. Is that what crack does to you? Makes- Forces you to decorate? <laughs> Some Maybe he was gay. He was gay. He was gay and on crack, and that equals... Um, <laughs> Not marriage. Remodeling. Okay, so let's stick to it. Skiing, no drugs, and no, sobri- no, 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 no. They can, they can, they can do it. They can take mushrooms and acid. Okay, you have specified which drugs they could take. Yeah, is that controlling? Uh, just yes or no. Be honest with the a hundred percent. It's pretty controlling. Yeah. Why am I? I'm going to do drugs. You're going to tell me which ones I could do? Yeah. Mushrooms and acid. I don't want a guy on cocaine. But what about that um, Olymp Olympiad? Shannon, what's it called? Ozempic. Ozempic. I was just going to talk to you about that. Okay, well, that is a drug that gets you hot. So are you against a guy trying to get hot? Well, they have to be fat first to do that. But uh, there's all these- It's never too skinny. Skinny is in now. Yeah, you can never be too rich or too thin. Right. Um, But I have a lot of friends who are fat, and then they went on Ozempic. Right. So I like them better. No, I'm kidding. But um, there's now like new studies coming out that when you take Ozempic, you get skinny, but your face ages a lot. Right. In uh, but there's an app for that, isn't there? To make your face. Oh, you mean younger? Face too? If my face gets old, no problem. I have an app and a filter that that takes care of that. You can solve anything through technology, according to Natalie's generation. <laughs> Natalie, do you want to chime in here and defend your generation? Ozempic, um, Chloe said, makes your face old. And then I retorted for the people who read. Um, I exclaimed, um, she could just use an app. To make your face younger. You right, can. Natalie? You can, but then in real life, people are going to catch on to that pretty quickly. Okay. Catfish. Well, you don't bring real life into it. If there's one thing you don't do with Gen Z is bring real life into it. Because we don't believe in eye contact, and I will slip into your DMs, but I will not talk to you in and person. And everybody's a homosexual. And everybody's, I don't know if Bisexual. they're a homosexual. Homosexual is a label, and this, this generation is not into labels. Yeah. It's fluid. Oh, yeah, I agree. They don't and use condoms. No, because they don't have sex. They have virtual something. Well, it's because like virtual reality. The STDs have kind of gone away, except for chlamydia. Right. And I think that they're going to still not use condoms, and then new STDs, AIDS will come back, and they'll all get fucked. Uh, do you think it's going to come back? Did it ever go away? It went away, kind of, mm-hmm. and now it's back. It's gonna come back. It's gonna come back. I got a feeling. But what about chlamydia? You mentioned chlamydia. All these girls have been getting it. Right. Like these 25-year-olds I know. Why? I don't know. It's just... It's... Is it a virtual reality <laughs> disease now? I don't think you can get chlamydia online. Mm. But there are viruses online? out there. Oh, online. yeah, like a compu- like in- yes. when you don't enable cookies? Yeah. It's a double meaning. I didn't know what cookies were. I don't know. Either. I don't know what it is. Shannon, what are cookies? But I feel like when you enable cookies, you got to take Ozempic. <laughs> Yeah, because it's like the double meaning of cookies. Mm -hmm. It's like, what am I getting here? Advertisements? Cookies has something to do with advertisement. Targeted ads. Yeah. it's um... And then cookies is also um, a delicious dessert that we used to have when I'm older. Chloe, I don't know how old you are. I'm not going to. It's March. Oh, today. I'm not going to let you disclose it, but I I am older. I'm an older gentleman. Mm -hmm. And um, I used to think of cookies as a dessert, a snack. 
chocolate chip and peanut butter and wow. they were really good. But n- now cookies is targeted advertising. Shannon, am I wrong? It, that can be it. It yeah. says that they are small blocks of data created by a web server while a user is browsing a website and placed on the user's computer or the other device by the user's web browser. So that can be, I think, a use of them. Targeted it's apps. blocks of data? Yeah. It's blockchain? No, it's I don't. crypto? No. <laughs> crypto something. Okay, well, w- to be continued with the cookies argument. But um, let's continue on this list, Chloe, because you're the guest. And I think it's important that we manifest. Job, skiing, and they're they're on mushrooms and acid. That's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Tall. It's acceptable. Green eyes. Okay, tall. You're right up Shannon's alley. She will not accept short. She doesn't think short. Um, shorts are people. She doesn't think they're people. She doesn't acknowledge them. <laughs> um, tall, blue eyes. Green. Green eyes. Um, you know who had green eyes? The Incredible Hulk. I thought you were going to say Hitler. No, Hitler is, uh, I think he was brown eyes. Probably blue because he only likes Aryans. But he had brown eyes, but he liked, that's the that's the old, he had brown eyes but loved people uh, with blue eyes. Do you think he was secretly maybe like, he was overcompensating for the fact that he didn't have blue eyes? That's it could he be. he was doing a genocide. It could be. He was doing a, um, overcompensating is a big thing. Yeah. But you want green Literally eyes. Literally big. <laughs> you you want green eyes. Mm-hmm. He yeah. had blue eyes, by the way. Hitler. Dark Hitler had blue eyes? eyes? Yep. Wow. You want to see a picture? Yeah. You can share this one. They get dark blue. Whoa, mm-hmm. those are scary. Those look like he's on mushrooms. This also could have been black and white, and maybe they changed the color. Yes, they make the mess with the colors now. That's what they do on it's the like apps these World days. World War II in color. I was going to watch World War II, but then they were like, World War II in colors. Are more people going to watch it because it's in color? Yeah, I want to watch World War II, but not in black and white. People saying that? No. Green eyes. So you're like a guy with a little Nordic something. Isn't green eyes like n- n- Nordic? It's not Irish. It's not Irish. There's Irish with green eyes, aren't they? They all have these like light blue eyes. I yeah, feel like. that's disgusting to you, Chloe. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just be honest. Yeah, I don't like it. Okay, so it so, reminds me of the working class. The blue collars are just disgusted, disgusting yeah. people. Because I want a guy with that apartment in Soho. That because my apartment's so small, I just want to yeah. find him, move in, get pregnant, and just let it, and then I could start drinking again. Yes. Well, not when you're pregnant, right? Because that's frowned upon. I don't know if you've heard. Uh, you can medical, have a glass. Medical news. And you could also face tune it to a Coke. Okay. But you, so. But you know, my. Yes, go ahead, Chloe. The older generations, they were like doing cocaine, drinking, smoking right. cigarettes yeah. before they had, while they were pregnant. There were um, no rules. There were no rules. And their, their thing was we didn't know it was bad. Mm-hmm. And I think that's a cop out because the smoking people, smoking is kind of like the phones now where it's like. They they knew they didn't know to the extent of which it was bad, mm-hmm. but they knew it wasn't good. Mm-hmm. But they didn't know the extent of it. Of just like phones now, phones is like everybody just takes for granted and scrolls and does all this stuff online. It's on their phone twenty hours a day, but they know it's not good for you. No, but I mean I'm sure there's been studies, but they're not cited. Everybody just accepts that that's what you do. Yeah, you're just on your phone all the time. Just like in the fifties, I think everybody just expect ex, expected people to smoke. I also, I'm going to freeze my eggs because I'm getting older. Frozen eggs. And when you freeze your eggs, Mm -hmm. you can choose if you want a boy or a girl baby. Is, oh, you can choose that then? Yeah, and I want a boy because we need an heir. That's so Game of Thrones. Yeah. Of you, an heir. Uh Uh-huh. And somebody to take over the empire. Yes, of course. Okay. And then I'm going to move to Santa Barbara. Okay. To Montecito where um, Rob Lowe lives. All right. And I'm going to get an ocean. He's sober. Yeah, I'm going to get an oceanfront ranch with mm-hmm. horses and start drinking again. Why would you start drinking again, though? Because you're, you're living such a great life now that you're not drinking. I'm talking as a sober. Yeah, but you know, it's just, it's always been a passion of mine. Right. And I feel like once I get everything I want, that'll be the one thing I want still. But maybe I'll get to a place where I don't want it again. And I just think it could be fun for a little. And then I could go to like rehab in Malibu and dry out. Yes. And just be over it. 